I like my little flashlight hat. Uh, I shall pour out my spirit upon all men, meaning every, meaning everyone, mankind. Uh, yes, I believe it's what's happening now. That's why we're rising up, and the world is going to split off. And Tom Numbers was talking about next year, November 5th is the kickoff through the 10th, which is interesting because that's 11 and 10, and that's the two numbers I've been seeing for six months, so many times per night. Uh, it's unbelievable how many times I see 10s and 11s on the digital clock, or numbers that add up, that add up to 10 or 11 or 10 and 11, you know, just which would go right with November 10th would be 11:10. So, wow. Anyway, it was also talking about, I think, Malachi 3.10, where it says, I shall pour out my, no, I'm sorry, uh, give you a blessing that you, you, you won't have enough room to contain. It's that scripture, and that's what's happening with Nasara. So that scripture will be fulfilled. Now, the splitting timelines, Laura's view in Tarot 2, she talked about it. I even Googled splitting timelines, and it even said something about where your vibration raises to the point where you got to go off this way and if the other lower vibrations are going to go off that way and on Laura's View and Tarot 2, the number 2, she had a, actually a picture of the earth splitting and if you're going to the new utopic heaven on earth, which I hope you all say, that's the one I want, say it out loud and uh, proclaim it go off to that, that earth uh, and then uh, the people who are just asleep, 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 asleep are going to split off and go to a third, third dimensional earth much like this one. I think the difference is there won't be negative ETs but you know ruining everything so they can actually develop how they were supposed to develop but boy I sure wouldn't want to go through that life. I sure would not want to go through that, that life again. I've had enough of that bullshit. I'm ready for the uh, young, being young, being healthy, money's no object, uh, food fantastic, air fantastic, water fantastic, no more P-O-S-I-O-N, I think that's how you spell it. Uh, you can spell it, you know what I'm saying, <clears throat> in your air and your water. Uh, these people are so dumbed down and asleep from that shit. <clears throat> and... Uh, if you can possibly remember to bless your food before you eat it, it's a big deal. It's a really big deal if you bless your food before you eat it or drink. <clears throat> you can turn that toxic shit into something like the blood light of Jesus, you know. I think, I think of it like when I'm doing communion. I, I do communion with every cup of coffee. <clears throat> you know, you're supposed to do... A, like the bread for his body and the, 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 the liquid for his blood. Well, I just call the creamer the bread and then I call the coffee the blood. And I, you should always bless, when you do communion, bless the elements. So God bless these elements before I do, do that. So I do that and then I say, in remembrance of you, Jesus, like you, like you told us to every time you do this, Every time you do this, what was he doing? He was eating and drinking. Every time you do that, do it in memory of him. That's all communion is. And, uh, I've heard on good authority it's good to do communion often. So I do it with every cup of coffee. I have two to three cups a day. So there you go. Uh, <coughs> um, Anyway, bless your food. Uh, David Wilcock was even talking about, they had studies that uh, even if you eat a salad, the salad leaves will scream when you bite into them, but if you bless them first, they're fine. It's like when you have to trim a tree, when it has to be done, you bless it, tell them what you're doing, and thank you, and it's fine with the tree. But if you just go out there and start hacking limbs off, you start freaking out. Trees are connected to everything. 
the mountains are connected to everything. We're all connected. <sighs> but some of us are more in touch with that than others. I just want to play music and tell people what I know about spiritual things that I've been led to know and believe. Basically, to see myself uh, playing on different planets, to different species of beings. Uh, Alex Collier, he said their music that, that he heard on the Andromedan ship was made of uh, frequencies from different planets and it was so high a level he couldn't even hear it. But he said he played music for them. They did not like our music with words, but the music they had with just music, was just music they really liked that. Like he turned them on some jazz, like Chick Corea kind of jazz, you know, 80s jazz. And he said they really liked that. It was, uh, they liked the feeling. If you put emotion, <clears throat> like like symphonies p play pieces of music, but they don't. There's no heart there, or a certain pianists and so forth. They just play the notes, but there's no heart. They have the beat that they're told to play it, and they were, but <clears throat> there's no heart. Uh, if you take the same piece of music and play it with heart, the ETs really like that because they can pick up on that. Right, Oliver? Cooper? What are you doing? Goopy! <sighs> so anyway, it's Saturday. Saturday? It's Saturday. Saturday. Saved from saved from buying a piece of shit bike. These people reran their ad and made the pictures different, so it looked like a something we would be interested in. However, it was two-hour drive, which sucks. But my son was willing to make it, and then thank God he clicked on. This guy apparently has some links. I couldn't find him, and it showed that same bike. And apparently he had painted it, and it just it would it would just be total trash, which is weird. And then I had another one, the crazy lady. I just took Nick's advice because he seems to get revelation just so naturally, and I just blew her off. And uh, damn, you hear the gunshots? Uh, two gunshots just now. Anyway, I did the pendulum. I think on both bikes and the pendulum was real didn't want to answer real iffy weird so, so I was like huh and so maybe maybe what the pendulum was trying to say is you're not gonna go don't worry about it uh, like I said that when you're talking to pendulum or tarot cards or whatever the, the biggest deal with that is asking Cooper asking the right question you have to formulate your question in a way that such things can answer you. Are they arm testing thing? Uh, that seems to be, if you can get that down, kinesthesiology, where you just hold the item or a picture of the item or the word written on a piece of paper to your chest. Hold out your arm and somebody tries to push your arm down. If it remains uh, stiff, that's good. If it goes weak, then it's bad. Oh, anesthesiology. Oh, I, I learned about that God, 20 years ago, probably. Power versus force. Uh, David Hawkins, I think. He was, he really got high in that levels of doing the arm testing. Cooper! <clears throat> Here we go again. Cooper! Coop! Cooper! Oh, pray, folks. He just does the weirdest shit. He just does the weirdest shit. Cooper! Two more shots. Do you hear it? Early to be shooting guns off, boys. Shit. Cooper! 
All right, well, I'm gonna go try to find my dog, I guess. So, have a good day.